Hi there, I'm Sarah Marshall. I'm the owner and creator um, at Black Orchid Labs. I'm a small business located in Winchester, Virginia. Um, I make and design um, and sell all kinds of products here um, in my laboratory uh, in my basement. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I do while I describe some of my products to you. Um, tonight I'll be making the start of a um, really popular tumbler design um, that I've created. I hope that you enjoy kind of seeing my creative process and hearing from me a little bit about what I do here. Um, I don't just create tumblers, I create all kinds of things here. I actually started Black Orchid Labs. Um, I had um, ideas of different t-shirt slogans and sayings that um, had just been clogging up my head for a while. I wanted to really spread some positive messages out there in the world and just do my part um, to spread a little kindness and empathy and um, strength. Um, so you'll notice a lot of my t-shirt, sweatshirt, um, tote bags, those kind of things. It's all positive messages. It's all messages of empowerment, um, of togetherness, um, of equality, um, and of encouragement. Um, I use the highest quality um, products in everything that I do. My hoodies are Bella Canvas. Um, they're called sponge fleece and they are the softest hoodies you will find. Uh, I sell them at very reasonable prices. Actually, I sell them $8 below the retail um, that you could get them directly through Bella Canvas and that's without my designs on them. All of the time that goes into me designing them and making each product right here um, by hand. I don't have anyone helping me here. Um, it's just me. I work my day job and then I come home and I really enjoy myself um, making things for you guys. So um, please check out my website, blackorchidlabs.biz. Again, that's blackorchidlabs.biz. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, um, blackorchidlabs.merch, M-E-R-C-H. Um, and I am in the uh, Amuse art fair this week this week so I hope that you all check out some of my products um, you check out some of the other vendors at Amuse um, it's a really um, important year to think about your small businesses to keep us alive and thriving I promise you won't find any of my products um, in Targets or Costco's or, or Walmart's um, so please um, consider uh, supporting your small businesses so um, what else do I make besides hoodies and totes and t-shirts? Um, I make tumblers, so travel mugs. Um, I make lots of different designs. Here are a couple that um, I've actually created just for the Amuse Art Fair. So this is um, breast cancer support, of course. This, what I'm holding right here, is a 27-ounce tumbler. It also comes in a 30-ounce skinny um, with a straw. 15% of all proceeds from the breast cancer mugs go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Um, this is another oldie but goodie. Every time I make one of these and I bring it to a craft show, it gets scooped up right away. It's a watercolor horse with a pastel background um, that says run wild and dream big. Um, it, the, again, this is a 27 ounce, but it comes in different sizes. You can see those sizes on my website. Another Amuse Art Fair exclusive um, I'm excited to share with you. This came out even prettier than I thought it was going to. Um, is a tribute to the legend um, RBG. So here's the 27 ounce tumbler and here is the 30 ounce skinny um, that comes with a lid and straw. The 27 ounces also come with a lid. But look at the sparkle. It's um, I've used uh, three different types of holographic glitter um, and a process that takes about, um, I don't know, nine or ten steps to get through all of the different processes that go into creating this particular tumbler. tumbler. It takes me about um, eight to ten days to create something like this. Um, but check this out. I'm just, I'm so excited about how this turned out. Um, again, these ideas kind of pop up in my head and then they simmer there for a little while and sometimes they turn out as planned, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's a happy accident and sometimes they end up starting over. So. Um, those are two that I'm really excited to share with you. Also, I'm a huge holiday fan. Um, 
this year especially, I'm super excited to, you know, um, maybe I should be embarrassed to say it, but I think I'll probably be putting up my Christmas decorations as soon as Halloween's over. So with that in mind, um, you know, I, I really love the Peanuts gang. They've always given me so much joy. So I made this tumbler with these watercolor um, images. And again, all of this is available on my site at blackorchidlabs.biz. I'm going to kind of walk you through my process while I talk to you a little bit more, and then I'm going to show you a few more of my products that I've been working on here. So um, here we have, this is a 30 ounce skinny tumbler, and I have some epoxy resin here that I've already mixed up. This comes in two parts, um, and I use, again, I use the highest quality products. There are all different kinds of epoxy resins out there, um, from really high quality to really um, not so great quality. Um, I get, if not the most expensive, um, one of the most expensive and most definitely the best quality um, of all of the different products that I've tried. Um, I use it on all of my products because the goal is I want you to have a product that will last you a long time, that will be durable, that will be beautiful um, when it's finished, and that you don't have to worry about. I want you to have this um, have this product for a very long time um, and keep it with you. So I spend um, money on my supplies, making sure that that's the case for you. The same goes with everything I use, all of my glitters, all of my inks, all of my vinyls, all of my um, soft materials. I really invest in the highest quality products for you guys and I don't overcharge. You will see um, people charging a lot more for the same products um, than I'm making. You know, um, it is important for me to keep my business afloat, but really I would rather bring you an affordable, high quality product. Um, and I've learned that in doing that, you all often send me referrals and send other people my way, and it um, results in a successful business for me and a great product for you. So a couple safety tips about working with epoxy resin. You always should read the MDS sheets. That's the material data safety sheets. That tells you any safety precautions you should take when working with resin. Resin's toxic. Um, if you can hear in the background, I have both an exhaust fan um, and a uh, very high-tech air purifier running at full speed, okay, to suck any of the VOCs out of the air. This, again, they say it's a VOC epoxy but um, it's really important to keep yourself safe when working with these different products. So um, I spray painted this tumbler white. I sanded it down. Um, it came as just a regular stainless steel tumbler. Um, and to prepare it for tonight's show, I went ahead and took those preparatory steps. Um, right now I just applied the resin and you'll see why I did that here in just a moment. The heat gun helps move around the resin. It also um, helps smooth it out, smooth out any bumps, and it helps to um, pop any bubbles. Sometimes when you mix resin, um, it, it develops little bubbles, and those can stick around and um, harm your finish if you don't take care of them. I have some other really um, great tips on getting rid of those bubbles if anybody out there works with resin and is interested. So what you're gonna see here, I have several what are called, um, oops, alcohol inks, okay? Um, and this is what I use. I'm gonna drop these on here, and you'll see what this plain white tumbler becomes really quickly here. Um, so just follow me as I do this. Um, so this particular tumbler, people love it. Um, a lot of my shirts, well, most of my shirts and my tote bags, my hoodies, um, I go with a lot of black and white. I just really like the contemporary feel of it. Um, I like the simplicity, I like the edginess, but the cups really give me an opportunity to just go wild with color because I, I do have a part of me that likes that and I know that some of you guys out there really like to go wild with the color too. So um, the cups and some of the other resin art that I work with gives me the opportunity to do that. So another thing about um, working with resin is every product's a little bit unique. Right? Um, it's impossible for me to make any two items that look exactly the same as one another. As you see, every product is made by hand, by me, um, right here in my basement. And I um, actually keep a little recipe book 
notebook so I know what to do next time. Um, if I use any special techniques that I'm afraid I'll forget or um, I'll keep track of the colors that I use of the glitters and the inks and the paints. Um, so I always use the same products, but as you can imagine, trying to get the same finish um, would be impossible. So I don't even worry about that. I just put my heart um, into each product and I really try to make sure that I catch anything that's unattractive and fix it on my end before you even see it. I do a lot of custom tumblers as well. So um, I have people that have ordered, you know, six, seven, eight custom tumblers for me. So by custom, I mean that they have an idea in their head, say it's a sunflower, I've done a llama, um, I've done different sports teams for people, um, I've done just about anything you can think of. Recently I did a personal picture of someone's own horse and um, someone's own motorcycle on um, cups as well, so I can even put real pictures on cups. Um, so by custom, I mean you tell me what you want and then you give me a little bit of artistic freedom um, to kind of go from there. I will consult with you on colors. Um, I have every color of the rainbow here. I'll show you a little bit of that. If you tell me you want blue glitter, I have everything from powder blue to midnight blue. Um, and I'll consult with you on um, coming up with the right colors for you. So you see, I'm just trying to get that I had a little spill there, got that color where I didn't want it, and so I'm just trying to pick a little bit of that off. Again, I spend my time, I take my time really making sure I do a great product for you guys. So back to the custom tumblers. Um, I have done, again, all kinds of, all kinds of things. Um, I always ask that people reach out to me. Um, I do have a custom tumbler listed on my site, um, but I do ask that people just reach out to me, send me an email. Um, you can either message me through my Facebook page or you can email me at blackorchidlabs at gmail.com um, and just run your idea by me. Make sure that it's something that I can do that um, is consistent with my brand. Um, and I have yet to have to tell anyone no, but I do ask that you reach out to me. Now, custom tumblers takes a little bit more than my standard two weeks. Usually takes me up to three weeks. Um, that's the time frame I try to give myself because that whole time I'm consulting with you. I'm asking you about colors, then I'm putting the colors on, um, and I'm sending pictures to you along the way so you can see what it's looking like. I'll send you options of different fonts you can choose if you want to put a name um, or a saying on your cup. Um, so and you'll see how this is coming along really nicely here. Maybe some of you have already guessed what I'm doing. Um, it's coming along beautifully. Again, it's not like the last seven or eight that I've made, but that's what's wonderful about it. Um, it's unique in its own way. Um, so I love doing custom products. I've also done some custom hoodies, custom t-shirts. Again, reach out to me and I'll let you know if it's something that I can do um, and consult with you on that. As far as holiday shopping time frames, um, just keep in mind, again, each product's made by hand. It takes me time to do it, and I don't want to put anyone in a pinch where they're expecting a gift for their loved one and they don't get it um, before the holiday. So again, I have my holiday deadlines posted on my site. But again, just uh, make sure that you're given plenty of time when you're shopping any custom product um, or any personalized product, right? Because um, we don't we don't want to miss those deadlines for you. So this is obviously my rainbow tumbler, um, and it gets even more sparkly and wonderful here in just a minute. I have done this with um, gold lettering and put people's names and different sayings on it. People really seem to like to personalize it that way. And the heat reacts with the inks and just helps it move really, really beautifully. It helps the ink swirl together. Ooh. 
if you're getting tired of watching me do this, um, you know, walk out this browser for a second and open up my website, blackorchidlabs.biz. I have um, so many different things there for you to look at. I have um, well over, maybe close to 200 different designs posted on there right now um, between the different tumblers. I have glitter, I have non-glitter, I have some things that are more masculine, I have things that are very feminine. Um, I have, like the breast cancer tumblers, I have um, different causes. And anytime I do something for a cause, um, I will not keep all the proceeds for that. I just, in my heart, I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like that's the right thing to do. I don't judge others for their choices, but um, I, I feel like I am obligated to donate um, some of those proceeds. So you'll notice in the notations of my listings for any of the cause items, whether it's hoodies, um, I have, you know, cleft palate awareness, I have um, some Black Lives Matter merchandise, I donate. Um, for the Black Lives Matter, I donate 100% of the proceeds. Um, for any of the other causes, I generally donate 15%. And you'll see that listed, um, you know, on my site when you're looking at those different items. Um, again, it's I'm not in business to get rich. Um, that was not my plan when I opened this business. Um, it was really just to have fun. And like I said, spread a little joy and positivity because we need that. We are um, definitely in a place, maybe more now than ever, um, where we need a little joy and empathy and compassion um, spread. And so that's what I try to do with my designs. So isn't that beautiful? You see how the different colors are swirling together there. Now, to give it a little extra sparkle, I usually wait until this is dry and put another coat of resin, um, but I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit so you guys can kinda see the full effect of what's gonna happen with this tumbler. Um, so, let me grab a piece of paper here. Um, and again, this tumbler is nowhere near done. It's going to need um, several coats of resin. It's gonna need to be sanded down in between coats of resin to make sure it has a nice and smooth and lasting finish for you. Um, so it takes, you know, seven to ten days to make something like this. Each coat of resin needs to dry um, minimum of six hours before moving on to the next step. Um, more likely closer to eight or twelve hours. So check this out. So even my glitters, this is not glitter you can find at the craft store or at the... Um, at the warehouse nearby you, and I'll do another coat on the bottom, but I don't want to pick this up right now. If I start moving this cup around, that ink's going to move in ways that I don't want it to because I really, really like these different waves and patterns that we're going um, here. So that is, um, again, each one's a little different. There's no right way to do this. I just kind of go until I like what it's doing. And um, if I decide I want more glitter, I add it on the next go around. So another thing about the items on my website, I can personalize just about any of my custom designs. So say, um, say that you don't wanna create something from scratch, you find a design on my website that you really like, but you would like it more if it had um, your loved one's name on it or a different, you know, maybe it's a saying from a book. I'm an avid reader myself. Um, and you know, you want a quote from a book or a quote from, I just recently did a Doctor Who quote. Um, I have a very popular galaxy tumbler on my website. It's beautiful. Um, it's black and white. It looks like a galaxy. It has pinks and greens and blues. Um, and someone wanted a Doctor Who quote on there. And so I did the quote in pink and it turned out beautifully. You can actually see a picture of that particular cup I'm talking about, that personalization and the five-star review for it on my Etsy page. Um, I have an Etsy page as well as blackorchidlabs.biz. Uh, I set that up when I just started out and before I started migrating over. All of my products are in both places. Um, so if you want to see some of the reviews on my products, one, check out my Facebook page, but also um, you can see all of my five-star reviews on my Etsy page um, as well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing 
um, you start on this tumbler, it's going to move. These inks are going to keep moving. It's not going to look the same, um, you know, eight hours from now than what you just saw. But I do want to show you around uh, just a little bit more. So um, these um, are marble. They're a marble design. You'll see the black. Look at that glitter. Again, this is super high quality glitter. This glitter is about $12 for two ounces. And here's the light version. And then, as I said, I do not, um, there's not a color I don't have. There's not an option I don't have. This is just glitter. <laughs> um, I have so many different options. If you tell me you want a color, I'm gonna give you options of that different color because um, I have plenty to choose from. This is another design I did. Again, this is um, a message of empowerment that, um, you know, again, whenever I bring one of these to a craft show, it sells right away. But don't worry, if I don't have one in stock, I can make you one. Um, just order it and, you know, expect to have it. Again, give me, you know, eight to 10 days to create it for you. Sometimes up to 14, depending on how busy I am at the time and I will get it on over to you. This one too, I call it my Royal Tumbler. Um, check this one out. It is crazy sparkly and crazy pretty. It's purple, if you like purple. So this cup was actually a happy accident. Um, I was playing with an idea in my head and it didn't turn out how I wanted. So I threw this opal, um, that super sparkly color shifting glitter on there um, just to see what would happen and I love it. And I've made at least 10 of these um, at this point. And I keep meaning to make myself one, but um, they keep selling out before I can do that. So I will one day get around to that. This is another brand new design. A lot of my stuff you'll notice kind of have a hard and soft edge, like the leather and, light and lace vibe. That's very much my vibe. Um, you know, just celebrating both the masculine and feminine, fem, feminine aspects. These are, again, a holiday um, coaster that I made. Here's it in a round version. Check this out if you're a green fan. Um, this is, again, a coaster to go on your desk or on your coffee table. Um, these are all available on my website. Um, this is not completely cured yet, when, but when it's completely cured, I put a cork backing on it so it doesn't scratch your furniture and then this may be my favorite color combination currently it's navy blue and copper and it is incredibly beautiful um, i also have it this isn't quite finished yet i need to do some finishing but check out this bookmark it's the navy blue and copper and i cannot get enough of that color combination right now Forgive the inks on my hands. I forgot to mention you should always wear gloves when working with alcohol inks because they will stain you. Um, I work with a lot of blacks too. So I have a million different black. You didn't know there was so many different black glitters. There are um, with all different undertones in them. And then this is a, again, it needs to be finished. Forgive the imperfections here. But this is um, a coaster I just made. It's black with... Um, gold foil in the center. Isn't that pretty? There's so much reflection. I think it's kind of hard for you to see it without the reflection in it because it's so shiny. And then these are car coasters. I have a bunch of different colors on my website. These are so fun. I have a set in each of my vehicles. Um, they keep your car um, cup holder from getting icky. Um, and they are, they look very sparkly and very fun. Again, even for car coasters, I do not use cheap products. This is high quality resin. You do not want to buy coasters, especially car coasters with cheap resin, um, because the heat resistance is not there. They will melt and they will stick to your car, um, when it gets hot outside. This will not do this. That is, this is, um, 500 degrees heat tolerance. Unless your car gets over 500 degrees and it really, really shouldn't. Um, you know, these are perfectly safe to have in your car and just, this is inside. Imagine what it looks like outside. It's so much more sparkly. Um, I have them in solid colors. 
if you are on my site and you don't see a color that you want, um, you can rest assured that I have it. Um, so again, just reach out to me. This is like a clear, I call it glass-like. If you're looking for this on my website, it'll be labeled as glass-like um, because that's what it looks like. It looks like broken mirrors and broken glass and it's super pretty. Here's another coaster. And then um, one more product I'm going to show you before we go. Um, there's a lot on my site you haven't seen. Again, check out my hoodies, check out my t-shirts. Um, I really think you'll find something that you like there, but I just need this and I'm super excited about it. It was, again, you know, brand new product that I'm trying out and I just love the way it turned out. It is a checkerboard. Um, I made this by hand using, again, high quality resin and glitter. Check out the sparkle. So this is um, a very high quality black glitter. This was made using mica powders, um, the same powders that are in eyeshadow. Um, and this isn't coming off. The glitter and the mica powder is in there. It's not going anywhere. It just really gives it a nice finish. And then I made the pieces in two different really sparkly colors. This is called an opal. And then this is a, this is a galaxy black with all kinds of different colors in it. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me for a few minutes and learning a little bit about what I do here in my lab. Um, I hope that you will enjoy this holiday season, um, this shopping season, and I wish the best to you and your loved ones and everyone who's important to you. Um, if you don't find anything you like in my shop, it's okay, but do check out the other vendors at the Amuse Art Fair. Um, we need you to stay alive this year, okay? Thanks so much.